Hey, what's going on, boys? My name is Avian Psycho, aka Toe Sniper 98. So, another Wales lock for Genshin Impact. Again, fashionably late, who would have thought? But in any case, uh, let's get started. Um, lots happened in the past month or so. Got uh, Sumeru, uh, the desert region anyway. 3.1. So, let's get right into it. Um, I already talked about Kole and Tignari, that was last month. So, this month. We got these two. So Razor... <laughs> Razor. Yeah, five-star Razor more like. Um, Sino first. Sino? Sino? Uh, I think... Um, I think the Japanese call him Seno. Because I think that's how the... Has, I think that's how they put his katakana. Um, I was told his name is pronounced Sino. Um, and not Sino. Um... I guess we're be, we're gonna be debating that for a while uh, for a while to come, but in any case, I'm just gonna call, just gonna call him Sino. Uh, so in case you have a problem with that, um, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Um, so let's talk about him first. Uh, let's see here. So his stat line is not final, obviously, because he's only at level 80. Because uh, his scarabs are gating him, kind of annoying, but uh, it is what it is. I think it's because it's because a lot of his scarabs. I think there are like 76 scarab spawns in total. The problem is a lot of them, uh, if you were to split the desert, uh, desert, desert, uh, desert map uh, down in half like this, um, most, if not all, of scarab spawns, or like maybe a, with maybe a few, maybe around this area, um, you can access because uh, they're just hanging up uh, above ground and they're re they're really easy to get. Um, so down this line, to, I guess just very simply to the to the east of this statue uh statue of seven uh the vast majority of scarab spawns are easy to get if they're not like one-time spawns to begin with however on the 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 west of the statue most of the scarab spawns are like underground like say underground this area because you can actually go into this crater in the in the earth uh or in the desert um as long as you have enough clearance you should be able to get in uh but i don't have enough clearance because i haven't done the main quest or whatever you need to do in order to gain uh clearance levels uh to go around exploring the uh, the pyramids here i believe you have to go into the main mausoleum and do stuff in there i'm just guessing though but in any case um there's like a lot of scarab spawns uh in this area but i assume it's underground uh underneath the mausoleum so you have to go into the mausoleum and check out things here it's a couple down here as well again you have to go into the the hole in the ground um a couple up here as well i believe same deal um, same things with ones over here, right here. There's only a couple of scarab spawns that you can actually access west of the statue in the middle of the desert. So, just been doing whatever I can, though, trying to g g gather all of the scarabs that I can get. Unfortunately, because Sino, Sino, I'm like, there I go, call him Sino again. Um, because, um, actually, no, that's, that, that's why I wanted to call him. <laughs> even I'm getting messed up, or even I'm getting confused. So, because of that, since he still needs, like, what, 43 more scarabs? I, th I don't think there are 43 accessible scarabs for me in total. Um, so, I'm anticipating uh, having to need another cycle of scarab spawns uh, to get into level 90. So, he likely will not be level 90 until, like, a, I don't know, maybe a week from now? We'll see. But in any case, I've been trying to work on everything everything else in the meantime. Uh, so right now, his, his stat line looks like this. <laughs> 666. Uh, with 200% crit damage. I believe with this last upgrade to level 90, his crit damage should reach 200%. Uh, in which case, that would be really nice. But we're going to have to see. Because I believe his ascension stat is crit damage. Which is always great. Uh, which is always great. Um, he's got 106% energy recharge. Which I actually do not mind. Because his ult is like, what, 80 cost or some shit? Let's see. Yeah, 80 cost. So he'll definitely need some energy recharge to help him uh, loop his uh, loop his ult. Uh, that that or you know bring along an, uh, another electro teammate for him to uh, generate some electro particles off of uh, or with, I suppose. So there you go. I got him his uh, his spear, staff of scarlet sands. Got a copy of that. Um, it's basically like. <laughs> 
we all know that miHoYo loves releasing five star characters with their intended five star weapons, but like shit, man, I haven't seen this level of a specific character weapon synergy in a really long time. In fact, I don't know if there's another um like maybe like another like another like symbiotic relationship between a five star character and a, and their weapon like to like ever since like Hutao came out with Staff of Homa, maybe. <laughs> so but yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, the passive that is, uh, because his whole shtick is, I believe, he's got a talent where, a passive where, um, like, the more elemental mastery he has, the better. Yeah, so damage values would be increased, the more EM he's got, blah, 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 whatever. I believe maybe the effect, whatever this is, whatever his, um, Dust Stalker bolt damage is, if that's how it works, maybe not. But I know for a fact that, you know, more EM is good. On uh, good old Sino here. In any case, I did get his weapon to level 90. <laughs> like, well, leveling weapons is a lot easier. Uh, but in any case, another big crit stat stick, uh, crit rate, so that's very nice. Uh, we'll make up for the fact that his artifacts uh, don't seem to be the greatest, uh, but I'm still working on him. Um, I believe, speaking of his artifacts, I believe his, his ideal artifact set is four piece gilded just because of the way his kit works. So, Ideally, would like to work towards a four-piece gilded set, but unfortunately, I don't have a, a good enough Elemental Mastery um, gilded uh, timepiece, nor do I have an Elemental Mastery uh, like uh, main stat uh, gilded cup, and nor do I have a crit damage um, gilded um, helmet or crown or whatever you want to call it, helmet probably because crown can mean something else. I got a lot of these things, but I don't know if there any any one of them is uh, crit damage. I could check real quick, actually. I got one. If this thing rolls crit rate, that'd be amazing. But I'm gonna have to see for myself right now. In fact, I mean, hell, why not? Uh, do I even have enough? Yeah, there we go. Oh god. And no, it did not roll uh, HP. Uh, I could probably still roll it anyway. If it gets a lot of energy recharge, I can still go. I can still deal with that. Um, it's just that I'm gonna have to look for another. I'm gonna have to look for replace replacement pieces that'll give him the crit damage, uh, the, or sorry, the crit rate that he needs. Um, to be fair though, this helmet uh, doesn't have a lot of crit rate because it rolled everything at the fucking attack percent for some reason. Uh, imagine if all that shit went into if it had elemental mastery and went all the, to elemental mastery instead. But um, yeah. Uh, we'll try to work on a complete four piece uh, gilded set on him. I really like Sino's um, playstyle, so I'm hoping that can pass sooner rather than later. But in the meantime, he'll be working with two-piece clad, two-piece um, gilded. For now, of course. Uh, let's see. I guess I can go over his individual artifact uh, stats right now, I guess. Because um, why not? It'll probably change in the future, but here's what he's got right now. Uh, not the best cup. Would have liked it if uh, flat HP went to crit rate once, at least twice or maybe. But it does have a, a lot of energy recharge, so it's passable for now. Uh, same thing with this one. One roll into crit damage, a couple rolls into energy recharge. So not bad, but not the greatest either. Uh, this feather is decent. Uh, lots of one to crit rate, once into crit damage, uh, energy recharge. So overall pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't look to change this, at least not right away. Maybe if I got a, a much better, if, if I got like the perfect feather for him, where it has element of mastery instead, instead of you know fucking HP percent or whatever. Flower. Uh, this one, luckily for me, rolled most of it into crit damage. I believe this was a four line, um, four line start, and it unfortunately rolled twice into flat defense, which is ugh. But at least the, the rest rolled into crit damage. So 27% crit damage. Can't really argue with that. Not right now, anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, if I can get a better flower with at least around the same level of crit damage, at least 20%, let's say, uh, I'll be happy with that, with other relevant stats as well. And his helmet showed you guys earlier. This one rolled everything into attack percent for some reason. But this is what I'm using for now, just for his, uh, just for a double two-piece set. Constellation got into C2. I wonder what his, uh, C4 does, actually. When he's ulted, after he triggers blah blah blah, to restore three energy for all party members except himself. Uh, it would have been nicer if he could restore it for himself. That way he could uh, he can uh, loop into his ult better. Uh, so 
if had his C4 allowed him to refund himself with this uh, with this ability, uh, then C4 is actually supremely good. But um, unfortunately, since it doesn't, it specifically does not do that. And I don't know how much uh, I don't know how how valuable this really is. Um, Obviously, it'd be, it, it, it's going to be quite helpful for his teammates, especially if you're if his teammates aren't exactly very well geared, uh, especially not in like the ER category. But uh, speaking just for himself, I think C2 is just fine, or good enough anyway. So that's where his constellations at. Working on his skill levels, obviously, or talent levels, as they call them, they call them in this game. What does he need again? These things. So yeah, a lot of a. Uh, Characters right now need the um, the Raiden Shogun weekly boss materials, so working on those. It also doesn't help that I'm prioritizing them for crowning my Miko uh, in the meantime. So I'm gonna wait until next week for my next round of um, uh, Raiden Shogun weekly materials and whatnot. So yeah, currently he's at that. Work on later. I already got all of his admonition books, but working on them uh, during the weeks leading up to 3.1. And so, yeah, I'm just waiting on these things now. Just off topic, but I do wonder if MiHoYo will ever uh, put in some sort of feature where we can convert um, previous weekly boss materials. I think I even talked about this before, but uh, something to convert, like, you know, for example, um, the Valen weekly boss uh, drops, um, Wolf boss um, drops. Tartaglia drops, even fucking uh, Ajitaha drops, right? Because I've been doing these weeklies ever since, like, I, every week I've been doing every single round of weeklies, going around doing every single weekly boss, um, ever since I started the game. And so that's why I have so goddamn many, especially the Tartaglia materials. But, yeah, I do want, because cause I want as many dream solvents as possible, obviously. Oh, where are my dream solvents over here? Yeah, so I've got six of them right now. Especially because freaking the Sumeru uh, free four stars, uh, four star weapons need their own special, um, you know, Sumeru version claim or or these belay things. So it's like, what the fuck? So, like, even if we even even if we could only transfer these or catalyze these into uh, like. Other more recent mater weekly materials out of laws, it'd still be worth it because, well, who the hell like what what new character these days is gonna go back and use fucking monster materials or specifically Devalin weekly drops or Wolf Boss weekly drops or whatever the fuck? I mean, I think the most recent one or the most most recent character we've gotten who needed previous materials is like maybe Dory because Dory just needed these things, but you get the these are H to hot drops. Uh, so there you go, I guess. I forget what Shenha needed. I, f I forget if Shenha needed the, the, the Tartaglia weekly drop, uh, uh, materials or whatever. But, maybe they'll add that in, Copium? Probably not, though. Anyway, it's just another thing I can bitch about, uh, to MiHoYo, I guess. I guess next time when they give us their, uh, their end of the patch, um, survey, uh, that they give, th give us 30,000 more for, for completing, maybe I'll run that across them <laughs> who the who knows if they're gonna even listen to me or anybody in anybody in particular for that matter probably just the chinese players but in any case i guess we gotta get guess we gotta get the chinese players to start, uh, start bitching about it too for them to list for me how to listen in any case candace uh i know that some people i've already come across whenever i uh, in recent streams uh of mine when i whenever i stream genshin uh, that some people were like why are you pronounce your name candace it's supposed to be can da say or whatever it's like three syllables well me being an american and me seeing this name candace like candace is a is not necessarily a common name but it's common enough to the point where we actually have our we have our own way of saying it which is why I'm insisting on calling her Candace, even though that's probably not how you pronounce it, because that's just what I'm used to. And I just think Candace is a cute name. So there you go. Bite me. Uh, she is level 90, unlike uh, Sino, because the her materials, or her specific region-specific material was the Red Crest. And you can find most of the Red Crests that spawn above ground. They're not, like, hiding underground or anything, which makes sense, because, you know, they're plants. So it would be kind of a bro moment if you found plants growing underground somewhere. Uh, which, I mean, that's what Ekonomi is, but, uh, that aside, uh, but yeah, 
anyways, case uh, whatever what are the whatever the um, <laughs> the biological reason is. Um, farming for Candace's red crests were obviously a lot easier considering she's at level ninety and who is it? Uh, Sino is not. So I don't even know why her crit damage is so high. Oh, it's because I don't have her. I don't have. Um, uh, I haven't given her full um, artifacts set yet. So yeah. Uh, because I've been working on Sino's stat line first, obviously, I haven't been able to work on Candace's yet. As you can see here, kind of a lopsided uh, uh, stat line there. So, But she is at level 90. I'll be working on her artifact set next, because considering um, Sino already has a workable uh, artifact set for now, obviously I'll make some uh, some changes to it, but right now I'm far now starting to farm for uh, Candace's artifacts. Right now I don't really know what kind of weapon she wants. Um... The way I want to build her, uh, because Candace seems to be a, a very flexible character in terms of like how you want to build her. To me, she feels like you can build her one of two main ways, right? Which uh, usually goes for you know a lot of support types like this anyway. Well, she has more potential to be built like this than say other characters like who is it Toma or Barbara, for example. But because Candace is more of a support character, you can either just throw your brain out the window and just give her, what, four piece no bless and just stack triple HP on her with her uh, helmet, cup, and timepiece. Or you can build her more DPS and uh, give her, especially if she's C6. Uh, this was given to me as a tip from somebody in chat when I was streaming the other day, uh, before my internet went to shit anyway. Um, that if you have a C6 Candace, uh, that opens up the possibility that opens up her being able to take four piece emblem because obviously, four piece uh, emblem effect uh, increases her ELO to damage burst or her her ult damage by whatever percentage of her energy recharge. So because of that, uh, I've been uh, working towards a four piece emblem set for her, um, which is kind of strange. Because her ult is actually not that expensive. No, it's not 80 cost, it's only 60. So you don't, she doesn't need uh, like two-piece emblem per se, as much as like some other characters do. Uh, but uh, apparently the four-piece emblem set uh, is actually worth it on uh, C6 Candace's. So that's what I'm trying out myself too, to see if it works or not. So I guess I'll let you guys know <laughs> if I remember to talk about it next month. But in any case, so yeah, back to her weapon. Uh, because of the way she can be built, uh, I've decided because I like Candace enough. Uh, I've decided to go down to DPS route with her, uh, just that she can have she can play a little bit more of an active role on whatever team that she's on. And because of that, I honestly think that Staff of Homa is probably going to be her best weapon. Unfortunately, all three copies of my Homas are already taken, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uh, wait for another copy of Staff of Homa because Homa is basically perfect for her, I think. Because crit damage, which is exactly what she wants anyway. Um, and so I just give her, what, a crit rate um, helmet. All right. Hopefully make up for the rest of her crit stats that she needs in her other ar uh, in her other, other artifacts. Um, and Staff of Homa has an HP bonus. Um, yeah, HP increased by 20%. And she scales with HP, so perfect for her. Uh, but unfortunately, because all three copies of my home is already tied to other characters, uh, not saying that I couldn't just swap them uh, whenever I want to use Candace, for example. Uh, but for now, I think the only other crit damage main stat spear that we have right now is literally um, Black Cliff Paul, the one that you get with Star Glitter. The one that, <laughs> why the fuck would you want this? Because most everybody should be exchanging their Star Glitter for more, uh, for more fates, am I right? So... Uh, so yeah, that's what I want to build her for because I want eventually when Staff of Homa, whenever it does, uh, gets another rerun, I do want to roll another copy of it for Candace specifically. Uh, so I figured might as well leave her with Black Cliff pull for now, uh, so that you know I don't have to switch her artifact set around later on down the line or whatever. Like she'll be all I need to do is just swap uh, Black Cliff for Homa whenever it shows up. So uh, that's why she's got Black Cliff for now. Not that I'm really using her all that seriously, because if we go look at her artifact set, as you can see, none of them are leveled. <laughs> uh, kind of working on them right now. The only one that she's got leveled is this one, and this is an old, this is an old uh, HP um, uh, emblem timepiece anyway. So, there you go. Pretty old. Um, it's got a little bit of crit damage. It's got a little bit of everything at least. So, can't really be too mad about it. Lots of EM though. I don't think she scales with EM at all. Um, so yeah, um, just like Sino, because Sino, uh, I was considering giving him an electro damage cup, but then I, then again, I realized, well, my Razor 
doesn't have an electro damage cup. Like my razor has, uh, where is he? I want to bring up a little bit uh, for for a brief uh, moment. Uh, my razor runs is running attack percent. Uh, but then, then again, that's mainly because he has Serpent Spine, and apparently, if you have R5 Serpent Spine, he actually gets more benefit out of a, an attack percent time, pe uh, sorry, cup, uh, rather than electro damage one, or whatever. That and raises kind of an oddball where um, he does with his ult, he does both physical and electro damage at the same time. So attack percent cup uh, does kind of make sense. But going back to Candice, um. So right now, I actually do not know if Candace, a DPS Candace, would r would rather have an HP cup or an Electro Damage cup. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give her an HP cup because first of all, uh, well, this the, this cup didn't really roll exactly the best. At least it got a lot of crit rate though, or a decent amount. Uh, but also, I don't have that many good Electro Damage cups. <laughs> like no, traditionally, I've struggled getting Electro Damage cups. Like the the ones that I have aren't really that great, so actually no, <laughs> I'm confusing electro damage cups with Sino. I'm supposed to be talking about hydro damage cups. Uh, hydro damage cups should be a different story then. Yeah, I've got a, I got a couple that can work, hopefully anyway. So yeah, in any case, the reason why I brought Sino up is because uh, I decided not to give him an electro damage cup and instead just give him an el elemental damage one or elemental mastery one. So with Sino, especially or with uh, Candice, wow, I'm getting these two's names mixed up real bad. Um, I'm not sure, uh, for now anyway, if I should take or if, if I should give her a Hydro Damage Cup or an HP Cup. So right now I've decided just to give her uh, HP, uh, just so that she it, because it'll uh, contribute to both her damage and her um, and her support ability. Whereas a, a strictly Hydro Damage Cup would just uh, would just go for her own uh, damage, obviously. Which I wouldn't mind either, just because um, the rest of my roster is already so kitted out anyway. Uh, so it doesn't—it doesn't matter for me as much if I just go for if I just concentrate on Candace's own damage, for example. But yeah, that's where my—that's uh, where our facts stand for now. And maybe, hopefully, I'll be able to. Maybe I'll give her a better uh, HP cup later, or even a Hydro Damage cup. I'm gonna have to see uh, what she does more damage with, I guess. And her feather uh, flower. Obviously, they're not leveled up yet. That and I and I've since I haven't I haven't farmed emblem pieces in God knows how long. I barely started or just started uh, farming emblem uh, domain again uh, recently. So yeah, you can tell that I just don't have a lot of them. In fact, I don't even have any spare um, emblem feathers anymore. Look at that. Do I have any flowers at least? Yeah, a couple. Yeah, you can see there some of these are new and pretty trash. So. Yeah, definitely gonna have to farm more uh, emblem pieces. And this is the only crit da or crit rate helmet that I had uh, emblem uh, that was part of the emblem set. Let's see if it rolls crit damage or not. Probably not. How much you want to bet? <laughs> we'll do it live. <laughs> In fact, I have that uh, plus four. Actually, no, plus six. To this thing. Um, I'll save it for now. Even though I'll probably get rid of it later. See if the shit rolls crit damage. And it probably won't. You know, it didn't. Or at least it rolled HP percent. Not bad. But in any case. Um, so yeah. There you go. I'll probably level up these pieces that I have right now. Just so that she does have a... She at least has a working um, four-piece set. I'll see uh, what I want to do with her uh, beyond them. Uh, Constellation, C6, obviously. In fact, I cared to get, I cared more about getting C6 C6 Candace than I did C2 uh, Sino. So, just to give you just to put things into uh, perspective there. Talent levels uh, six triple six. Obviously, these ones are coming from her constellations, and of course, she needs the Raiden Shogun weeklies. I guess I should farm more of these um, uh, the the Aramite uh, materials because I only have a, lo a little bit of these left. So I guess I know what what I'm doing. Um, whenever uh, when it comes to farming in Genshin. Okay, so those two are the new characters. I know Nilo, Nilo, Nilo uh, will come out next week, next week or so. Uh, how much do how much longer do we have on that actually? Yeah, so sometime next week, in like nine days. Um, let's see here. By the way, this background is fucking amazing, especially at this time of the night. Uh, what what time is it? Like 
evening time, sometime around that. Uh, yeah, around six uh, six o'clock in the evening, uh, when the desert um, sky turns all um, purplish, lavenderish, or whatever pink, uh, it, it goes uh, pink purple gradient, and especially with the mausoleum uh, in the background like that. Oh, this is uh, one hell of a scene. I love it a lot. It's like basically my new favorite uh, place to hang out, uh, just to watch the, uh, just to be able to watch the sunset. Um, I'm actually kind of curious if you can get all the way up to the top of the mausoleum. Uh, I assume the answer is no, uh, and I haven't heard of anyone being able to do it. And I haven't seen any like you random ass YouTube videos uh, popping up in my, in my recommended feed of people being able to pull it off. But it'd be super cool if you could. Uh, maybe it is possible later on, but who knows? But in any case. Even the uh, the desert, uh, the the nighttime desert uh, uh, environment is super fucking cool too. Yeah, they did a good, they did a, they did a fantastic job on the desert part, uh, or three point one, three point one anyway. Okay, let's talk about the uh, rest of the characters here uh, who I've been messing around with. So, um, update on uh, the rest of the roster's talent levels. So, my Toma has reached nine nine nine, so no longer we'll have to worry about him. And I believe my Goro as well, 999. So there you go. Uh, finally, I have gotten all the Inazuma characters to max talent levels. So with those two, um, the only talent levels that I need to worry about now are the ones from Sumeru now. So Kole, Tegnari, um, technically Dory, but I already completed Dory because uh, Dory is the odd one out. Because Dory needs the um, Ajdaha materials, and obviously I have a ton of those lying around, so no problem, no problem by me, or no problem for me. So that leaves uh, Kole, who needs uh, again Raiden and Shogun materials. Who would have fucking thought? Um, and who else? Uh, Tignari, where is he? He needs again Raiden and Shogun materials. And then, um, and then the, the two new ones, Candace and Sino. It's really funny because when I remember when the Raiden Shogun Weekly Boss first came out, like we went from having like only a couple characters who needed them all of a sudden to, oh, Sumet is here. Now we got four fucking characters almost in a row where they all need Raiden Shogun Weekly, bo uh, weekly Boss drops. It's like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> like, holy escalation, Batman. So, good old days when I only need to worry about have, being having to war, uh, level up like one character at, at a time. When the when Raiden Shogun came out first with um, Miko, who I'll talk about in a little bit, and uh, then Ayato, then whoever else came after that, or it came after them, uh, Shinobu Cookie, uh, Shinobu Cookie maybe. But in any case. Uh, speaking of Miko, as you can see here, I have been working on getting her uh, talents crowned. So yeah, uh, last one that's left is her normal attack. And uh, that's going to have to wait until next week when we get um, my, when our weeklies reset. So I have one last crown left, and uh, it's reserved for Miko. So there you go. I believe I already have enough um, uh, light books. Um, I just need to um, catalyze them. Uh, or craft them at the crafting table so yeah um next week she'll be triple crowned and hopefully next month's whales log will be able to reflect that uh oh also in case you didn't we didn't uh, go over this dendro traveler also needs right in shogun materials holy fuck batman <laughs> so i guess including dendro traveler we have five characters all in a row who all need um the right in shogun weekly materials like goddamn Chill. Um, who else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, that's right. I've already start gotten started on um, crowning my next uh, uh, triple crown uh, candidate here, and that's Yelon. Surprise, surprise. So yeah, I've already uh, crowned her. Um, I've already crowned her her ult. Felt like that was the most important. So there you go. Um, her materials, I actually already have all of them, right? The prosperity books, the, um, the, uh, what is it? The Fatui, um, insignias, um, gilded scales from Ejdaha. Again, I had a, a lot of them. And, uh, yeah. 
even an extra crown to go. So I can actually crown uh, Yalon's skill right now, which is the one next one, which is the next talent that I want to crown. But I'm saving the current crown for Miko next week because she was the first one I, I started um, crowning. So, uh, but that's okay because our new event, the Monstat, the Monstat Festival event, uh, will give us a crown at some point. So. Uh, that will be going to Yelon. So Yelon is, uh, spoiler alert, my next uh, triple crown candidate after Miko. So there you go. Working on those two for now. And I believe that's it for this video. Um, let's see. Let's go over the weapons real quick. Um... So yeah, still have, still keep me up the tradition of having every single copy, uh, at least one copy of every single uh, five star in the game leveled, especially now that we have staff. Um, I have also been wor slowly working on expanding my four star uh, weapon arsenal here. So I actually believe I may have I may have mentioned this last week, but I should have most of the uh, four star weapons in the game at max level as well. Um, so you can start from up here and work your way down. I need to remember to uh, finish out the event weapon here, the missive wind spear. I need to farm for uh, this today. Is two's actually I should probably after I'm done recording this video I should probably spend the uh, the I should probably send, spend some resin to level this up. So yeah, get that to um, level 90 pretty soon because uh, what is a 50% XP bonus? So got to take take advantage of it. I've also got, this is one of the uh, the Sumeru 4-star weapons, the quote, free 4-star weapons that you can uh, craft. So, yeah. So, yeah. Gotta get these two level up. These are closest. Um, prototype Crescent. What did this take again? Ah, these things. So, yeah. Not too many more uh, individual 4-stars left, actually. So, that's pretty cool. This is the new 4-star that's uh, part of the this current weapon banner. So, I'll probably get that to... I get that leveled up at some, at some point as well. So yeah, uh, getting pretty close to getting all the four star weapons to max level, and once that happens, I'll work on the three stars. And the three stars should be a lot easier because not only do they need uh, not only do they not need as many materials, but uh, there's a lot fewer of them. So go figure. And then the two stars and the one stars because why not? So I think that's about it. Um, what's my my uh, my fragile resin uh, count, 226. God, I need to use these at some point. But in any case, yeah, that'll do it for uh, this uh, video or for this this month's wh uh, whales log. So, looking forward to Nilo next week. Uh, whenever she drops, uh, I will probably see six her. What's with hydro characters and me six a c sixing them? God. <laughs> For, for uh, this month it was Candace. Now it's um now it's gonna be Nilo next. Like shit, seriously. Why do I like why do I like Hydro characters in this game so much? I'm a, I'm a pyro guy myself, or IRL with not 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 a Genshin context. Uh, my favorite my favorite element is fire. So why are all the why do all the Hydro waifus appeal to me? Something so, something something opposites attract something something, like Mona. Yelon, um, who the fuck else? Well, those two mainly, and then I guess now we have Candace. Oh, and Kolkami. So I guess they're my big four for now. Well, with Nilo next week, big five. <laughs> but hey, they're all hot, so whatever. Couldn't care less. So thanks for watching, boys. We will see you guys next next month. Peace.